Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review what they had. And I remember seeing the trailer for this and getting my attention because of the cast. Hilary Swank, Michael Shannon, Robert Forrester, Blythe Danner, Tysa Formiga, Josh Lucas. This was something that's like, I really love this cast, I want to see what it, this film has to offer. And Elizabeth Chomko is the director of this film about this family dealing with the fact that their matriarch has dementia and her husband doesn't want to give her up. The son has to deal with helping take care of them back in Chicago while their daughter, Hilary Swank, is off in California. The failing marriage and a relationship with their daughter falling apart and how this film deals with all those things. And I think Chomka does a very good job of telling the story and leaving you on edge. There's a couple of sequences in this film where it's like you're not quite sure where it's gonna go but it's, it's playing the film exactly how it wants and it's pulling you in and dragging you along where it's like you want to go because you want to know what happens and there's some particular scenes in this film where that's so well done and captures your attention as an audience and really gets you invested with these characters and that's another thing about this film you get very invested you feel these characters you see their struggles and you really understand all the different things that are going on and Blythe Danner does a great job having spent a lot of time with my grandmother who's who I live with who had been dealing with dementia it's very believable her physical acting and showing those moments where she starts to forget and things start fading away I think is really well done it's very powerful and very believable and you have Robert Forster who is a fantastic actor loving Jackie Brown and the descendants is in this film as the husband to this wife dealing with dementia and he does a really good job he's intense but there's moments where you really see the cracks coming through but it's not like oh I'm gonna get all schmaltzy with you right now out of character he really knows how to hold his character and how to deliver things ranging in emotions to supportive to basically bossy and the little cantankerous. He's a grumpy older gentleman at points. And then you have Michael Shannon who's fun and snarky and has some of the more fun lines. Some, some of the dialogue in this is a bit cheesy, I can admit. And some of the scenes feel very melodramatic. There's a particular sequence in this film where there's another man a potential interest of Hillary Swanks and that kind of storyline just like eh. the guy kind of pops up there's not much to him and he kind of just like disappears where it's like they, this film tries to balance not falling into being like a hallmark film and melodramatic and hitting this real family drama and in general I think Elizabeth Chomko does a very good job of holding that line and really hitting that and in terms of the story you get to see all these threads from these different characters balancing everything and trying to get to the point where it's like they're trying to figure things out over these couple of days of this visit that Hilary Swank and her daughter played by Tysa Formiga come and visit and there could be sequences where it could have just been like yelling snarky comments back and forth back and forth and could have been too much but they balance that love and you see why they really care about each other as well and I feel like that's important to strike balance so it's not just a bunch of snarky yelling at each other where it's overly dramatic all the time or trying to hit for too many laughs with some of their zingers that they throw at each other but I feel like the story takes us to some unexpected places you're not quite sure exactly where it's gonna go they're not gonna lie there are some predictable threads throughout the film but there are parts where it's like I didn't expect this and is this the most super deep film it's about relationships and family and it does those themes well and it's able to balance those and it's really good to be able to see these different characters interacting with each other and their relationships and really building a great story around it the performances across the board are great Hilary Swank really gets to dig into this I wish she was in more things saw her pop up very very briefly in Steven Soderbergh's film Logan Lucky last year but basically Hilary Swank 
after her couple of years of being really on top of things, kind of fading a bit. But she still shows that she has it. And Michael Shannon's one of my favorite actors working. Tysa Formiga does a really nice job in this film. And Barbara Forster and Blythe Danner are great. Josh Lucas is in it for a very minimal amount of time. But even in the moments he is, he is able to show some very talented acting. Especially expressing with his face and his physicality. And you can't discount these things. Is it the most original film out there? No. There are some melodramatic moments, there are some predictable moments, but overall I think it's a really well done film, it's very well shot, and it really captures this family, and you really tell why they love each other and why they're there for each other. Overall, I think this film is definitely worth seeing. If what they had is around you, go check it out, enjoy it, go with your family, and thank you as always for supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.